In this video, we will solve a very nice math Lampiard problem. The question is given in form of two equations, x3 plus y2 equal to 7. So let's say this is first equation. And the second equation is xy into x plus y equal to minus 2. So let's say this is second equation. We have to solve them simultaneously. And we have to find the values of x and y. So let us try to solve this question. Now the very first hint that you should get from here is the hint that you can get from here is this part x y into x plus y. Now the moment you see this you should think of a formula or you can say identity a very famous algebraic identity involving cubes. So we have x plus y whole cube. Now if you remember this formula this formula is x cube plus y cube plus 3 x y into x plus y. Now this is why this this is important x y into x plus y x y into x plus y right so we can directly substitute this whole portion by minus 2 and one more advantage over here is that i know this part as well x cube plus y cube this is also given as 7 so it means that i can find the value of x plus y whole cube so what i will do is x plus y whole cube equal to x cube plus y cube would be 7 plus 3 and here I will plug the value of minus 2. So 7 plus 3 into minus 2. So from here I will get 7 minus 6 equal to 1. So we got x plus y whole cube as 1. So therefore can I say that x plus y would be 1, right? Or you can say cube root of 1 which is nothing but 1. So finally we got a value of x plus y as 1. Now one more thing if you notice here. If I plug this value x plus y as 1 here, then I can get x y, right? So x y would be minus 2. So one more thing that I got from here is x y into 1 equal to minus 2. So therefore x y equal to minus 2. So finally, we got two relations x y equal to minus 2 and x plus y equal to 1. Now using these two, we can find x, x and y both. So what I will do is I can rewrite y as 1 minus x, right? I can write y as 1 minus x and I will plug this value in place of y. So I will get x into 1 minus x equal to minus 2. From here I can get x minus x square equal to minus 2. Now if I rearrange this then I will get x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. Now this is a simple quadratic equation which you can solve. So let us try to solve this one. So we have x square minus x minus 2 equal to 0. I can rewrite this as x square minus 2x plus x minus 2 equal to 0. So x into x minus 2 plus 1 x minus 2 equal to 0. So from here I will get x plus 1 into x minus 2 equal to 0. x minus 2. So from here can I say that x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 2. Right? I can equate this to 0 and this to 0 and I will get x equal to minus 1 and x equal to 2. Now we got x equal to minus 1 and 2. Now I want to find the value of y. Now here if you notice we have established a relation between y and x. Right? y is equal to 1 minus x. So whatever value of x I am getting I will sub simply subtract that from 1. So 1 minus of minus 1. So from here I will get 2. And for this one, 1 minus 2, I will get minus 1. So therefore, we got two solutions. We got two solutions. Minus 1 and 2. Minus 1 and 2. And the second one is 2 minus 1. Right? This is x and this is y. So there are two pair of solutions. Minus 1, comma 2 or 2, comma minus 1. Or you can say x equal to minus 1. Or you can rewrite this as x equal to minus 1, y equal to 2, x equal to 2, y equal to minus 1. Right? So finally, this is our answer. Finally, this is our answer. x equal to, let me rewrite this as, x equal to minus 1, y equal to 2, second solution, x equal to 2, y equal to minus
So these two are the solutions. So I hope you understood the method. Usually in such questions, we relate, we, we try to find two relations. One is of sum or sum or you can say difference and another would be product, right? So you found two relations x plus y and another was x y. Once I found these two these two values, one of one of product and other of sum, then I can form a quadratic equation and from there I will solve and find the values of x and y. So in, in most of such questions where there will be two equations simultaneously, x and y, you will find that you have to in a way eventually you have to find the values of either sum or difference or the product and then you can solve them simultaneously and you will get the search right so let's meet in some other videos we will discuss more such questions also if you know any better method here then obviously you can put it in comment section we can have a discussion right so thank you